Well, the first important thing is to have the exchange rate properly aligned, the real exchange rate that is, because this is the key price facing importers and exporters. And as exporters, if you want to enter global markets, if your goods are very expensive relative to goods coming from other countries, you're never going to be able to compete on those markets. So the real exchange rate having it properly aligned is the first most important thing. I think it's very difficult for the government to pick sectors. So you don't want an industrial policy that leaves the government open to picking sectors or firms. Uh, for two reasons. One, because they don't have the capacity to pick them well, and two, because it leaves them open to political connections and friendships where they might be rewarding friends instead of uh, choosing the best industries. The market can do that. However, that said, there is a role for export promotion. So there's a lot of research showing that countries that export more, that move into manufacturers, that have a structural transformation, grow faster and raise the living standards of the population more quickly. So it's very important to promote tradables, and as I said, first doing it through, through the exchange rate. You can also do it through export promotion policies, lower interest rates for firms that export a greater proportion of their output, things like that, but not trying to pick firms or sectors. Well, Korea's success really was largely attributed to this tremendous accumulation of the factors of production, both capital and labor, but as well as human capital, so an increasingly educated workforce. So I think one is to work on education. Morocco is going in the right direction. You see increasing uh, an increasingly educated workforce, but it's not moving quickly enough. And the standards, especially in math and science, uh, need to be strengthened. Um, in addition, it's this idea of really integrating into the global economy. Korea took a huge step towards that with their export promotion via the exchange rate mechanism, via industrial policy, and I mean it more broadly, not the picking sectors, uh, and that would be very useful for Morocco. And that said, Morocco's fundamentals, many of them look really good right now and sort of poised to take this next step, so it would be nice to see that happen.